Long Island. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Grandma? Uh, she's in the bathroom. Again. Too much cranberry juice, I guess. It keeps my urinary tract <laughs> infection free. <laughs> yes, that it does. Now I wonder where the train is. I'd hate to be late to see this metronomist. I've heard he's wonderful. And he's about your age, Amanda. Who knows? Maybe after the show we could find him. You're such a yenta, Grandma. But I'm just saying, if you meet him, who knows what could happen now? Hold on a second. Draw off a shimmel. Let me fix you. What? No, it's supposed to look like that. But you hardly got anything covering your chest. Are you going to be cold in the city? I'm sure I'll be fine. We'll stop by the Gap. We'll get you a jacket or a sweat. Grandma. You know, I was just in Grandma, oh. it's May. You don't need to buy us a jacket every time we come to the city. But it's but you could be cold, Megan. I don't know. You could catch a cold. Who knows? I'm just looking out for your interests because I am your grandmother. And the last thing I would want is for you to get sick. <laughs> oh my God, Megan, are you sick? <laughs> no, <laughs> I've just got something. Should we call your father? Does he know? <laughs> Fine. No, 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 no. We have to call him. He should know if his daughter is ill. If I can ever find this phone, this damn phone. It's so small. It's like they designed them to be hard to use. Um, I have found some gum. Does anyone want any? No. Okay, um, I do. So I'm going to take some gum. Oh, and there's also a fortune cookie. Anyone? No? Okay, here you go. Eat it. You need it. All right. Now, where is that phone? Oh, 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 here it is. It's like a toy almost. And you know who designs oi, and you know who designs phones like these? Foreigners. Like the Indians. Oh, hold on, it's ringing. <laughs> Hello? Yes, Terry. This is Janice Trimble. Can you get Bruce? He's flying the plane. <laughs> yes, thank you. Hey, what's your effect, Victor? <laughs> Emergency line. What is it? It's the line that the, that the police and the airplanes can use in case there's an emergency. But that's our form right now. She specifically asked for you. She. No one's supposed to have. Hello? Bruce, darling, how are you? Ma, you can't have this number. Listen. <laughs> Listen, Megan has had been coughing the entire time she's been with me. Did you know she was sick? Ma, seriously, you can't know that this number exists. Look, 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 just listen. <laughs> we are at the train station right now, and she is having a coughing fit. I'm not sick, Grandma. Mm. No, 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 you're very ill. See? She's doing it again. Yeah, she is a sick girl. I'm sure she'll be fine, Ma. No, 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 no. I'll, mm. Ma, I gotta go. I'm flying a plane right now. No, listen, listen. Your father finished painting the opera. Did I tell you? It's gorgeous. Ma, I can't we're... talk right now. I'm flying a plane to New York, where you live. I'll see you tonight. You want to talk to the kids? No, I gotta go, Ma. No, it's fine. Goodbye. Love you. Thank you. Bye. Love you. Goodbye. All right. Goodbye. Okay, goodbye. As I was saying, you know who designs phone like this? Foreigners, like the Indians. And I don't mean the red skin ones, I mean with the ones with the dots, like the slumdog millionaire. <laughs> it's true. It's a shame they're all so poor, though. They're so smart. You would think they could afford to work at somewhere better than a gas station. Which, by the way, <laughs> makes me really nervous. Who knows what they're doing to your car when you're not looking? Are you implying that all Indians are terrorists? Where did she come from? <laughs> uh, she's been here the whole time, I think. Yes, I have, and I want to know why you think all Indians are terrorists. I have no idea what she's saying. What do you mean? Well, she's not speaking English. I am speaking English, I'm just from England, and I still want to know why you, you think all Indians are terrorists. You know, you know, you, I've got sort of a monkey face. Are you Jewish? <laughs> Actually, my mom is. Really? What's your name? Uh, Cecilia Anderson Phillips II, but I have a show on PBS, you may know me from there. No, no. What's your mother's name? Cecilia Anderson Stein. Cecilia Anderson Stein! We went to Hebrew school together in Florida. <laughs> oh my god, you are sick. We cannot go into the city in your current state. It would only aggravate it. She just has a, something stuck in her throat. Mm. <coughs> There's something in her throat. No, no, no. I'm so worried for you. Well, I suppose you're not going to answer my question. What question? Never mind. Oh, 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 the Indian one. You know, I was in a Bollywood movie once. What? Yes, 
I used to work at the Empire State Building. I worked on the 80th floor. And one time, the elevators broke down, and we had to walk all the way up, which was awful, because I have a bad knee. But I didn't tell anyone, because I didn't want them to think I was a convention, you know? Anyway, but that wasn't the day that we filmed the movie. I think that was, yes, oh, 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 that day was a few years after we moved back from Florida. Because I, I moved to Florida when I was young because I was such a sickly girl. And only my sister, Arlene, she was no help. The stories I could tell you about her, here's one. Once, <laughs> she and her boyfriend got in a car accident. And he, she was so shocked, they ran to the nearest house and started dancing on the piano. And the Spadoinkle was hanging out the whole time. <laughs> she will deny it to this day. But anyway, that wasn't the day we filmed the movie. The day we filmed the movie, yeah, the director came in, and they had the biggest Bollywood star in the world. I don't remember his name, but he had an affair with the wife of a Mexican president, Pedro something. So the director was like, we need some blonde girl to sit at the, the desk and introduce this guy. So I was like, I'll do it. And they were like, all right. So I was in a Bollywood movie. I don't remember what it was called, though. Tell your mother I said hi. And tell her hi. Are you guys hungry? The train should be here shortly, but we can go get something to eat if you're hungry. I know that fortune cookie wasn't much, but... Yeah, I'm kind of hungry. All right, there is a bagel shop close by. We will run in, but not actually run, of course. All right, come on. <coughs> you guys ready? No. Okay. Excuse me. Is, is your grandmother always like this? What, you mean awesome? Yes. <laughs> 